Welcome. This is our uh, fourth annual event having to do with science and journalism at the MIT Museum. I'm Phil Hiltz, the director of the Knight Science Journalism Program at MIT. As I said before, we uh, have done dinners and panels and speeches and heavy programs before, so now, tonight, something completely different. Um, I think many people have the sense that we are in a new age of storytelling. If you think about This American Life, uh, Radio Lab, Moth, and um, so we, we got the, the, the fever ourselves, and um, we saw that Story Collider is here and in New York. They, they perform in New York uh, every month. And um, so the idea is, and, and let me read you a little quote from the New York Times, and, and appropriately on my iPhone. <laughs> I've often argued, this is Andy Revkin in the Times, I've often argued that the world would be better off if people from an early age absorbed science not as a set of facts, but as a story full of vexing questions, conflicts, dead ends, insights, and the occasional thrilling leap. That's why I love Story Collider, a storytelling project both on stage and online in which scientists and people affected by science recount short, often funny, sometimes disturbing experiences, mostly in front of audiences cabaret style. So that's what we have tonight. It's an experiment for us. We haven't tried it before, so join in. And I'm going to introduce uh, Chris Russell again, who is uh, from the Belfer Center at Harvard, and who is going to introduce uh, the founders of the Story Collider. So I, I don't want to give away too many of the surprises. Um, Story Collider you know, it, it sudden, suddenly kind of taken off in this viral way. It turns out that it's not even two years old. It will be celebrating its second birthday in May. So this is a really a privilege tonight. This is their first ever Cambridge Science Festival uh, event. And it is an original program put together just for tonight with special performers that you're going to hear from. Um, there is the director of this museum. He will be identified soon. There are a couple of our colleagues in science writing. There's a scientist, a political scientist, and a comedian. Now, you know, I think each will be judged separately, but uh, I think this is really, really exciting. Again, uh, we have had panels on really serious topics in recent years uh, for journalists and science communicators. And we had two years ago on science denialism and the challenges with this sort of spread of anti-science attitudes around the country. I just was at a conference in Wisconsin on this topic, which is the discouraging side that, of people not recognizing science and distinguishing it from anti-science, both in ev evolution, climate change, uh, autism theories, and, and the like. So I think um, it is absolutely true that the narrative form, telling stories, everybody in this audience should be thinking, gee, if I was up there, what story would I be telling? What was your moment in your life? I'm hoping, actually, that Phil and I will get really brave and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be performing on the stage near you with our Story Collider stories. But in the meantime, I want to in, uh, introduce you to the two extremely clever, talented uh, men who have founded Story Collider. Uh, we've been working mostly with Brian Wecht, who is a string theorist. He's a postdoc in theoretical particle physics and string theory at Harvard and soon going to the UK to teach. Now that's like the really serious line. The second line in his bio, he is half of the musical sketch duo Ninja Sex Party in which he wears a ninja costume, remains silent, and plays the piano. Okay. Um, 
His partner in crime and co-founder of Story Collider is Ben Lilly. He's also, these physicists, they're just wild and crazy. We, you know, we, we didn't know that. He's a high energy particle physicist who left the ivory tower for the wilds of New York and the theater district. And so he now writes and performs stories about science and being a scientist. And obviously these two are having a lot of fun and they're incredibly creative. So again, let's welcome the dynamic duo to introduce us to the program tonight. Thank you. Hey everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Story Collider. On my left, the lovely Dr. Benjamin Lilly. On my right, the very clever, as we heard, Dr. Brian Wecht. Thank he you all so much for coming. Yes, thank you. Um, we start every show with a question, and I think I know the answer to this question, but please humor me. By applause, who is here at the Story Collider for the first time? All right. Thank you. That is what we like to hear. That is fantastic. I love this. You do a show in a new city, and you can automatically get the entire audience <laughs> to applaud, applaud on right, cue. Right off the bat. It is fantastic for the ego, which is why we're up here. Um, no. So what, what we do here at the Story Collider is we get people on stage to tell true personal stories about times in their lives when science affected them on, on a personal, like on an emotional level, right? So what we care about is how science affected people's lives. What we don't care about is facts. Facts are dumb. That's right. They're irrelevant to no, what's they're... going on here tonight. What we care about is not the science itself, but the experience of doing science. That's right. These are true stories, personal stories, things that changed people, ch things that transformed them, and they're all about science because, frankly, science is a huge part of our life right now, and we don't talk about it that way. We talk about it like facts. We do lectures, which are awesome. Lectures are awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I, I have been known to go. Many of my friends are lectures. Um, <laughs> But tonight we're going to tell stories, and we're going to talk about uh, the other side of it. That's right. So why don't we just kick it off with our... Yeah, let's get this thing going. We have six stories. We're going to do three, take a break, and do three. So let's bring up our first rather distinguished storyteller. So this next guy, I'm sure you already know, he is not only the director of this wonderful place, the MIT Museum, he's also the executive director of the Cambridge Science Festival. Cambridge Science Festival going on all week, we're part of it right now. Don't forget to check out Big Ideas for Busy People this Friday, like TED Talks on Speed is the description uh, we were giving. Please welcome to the stage, John Durant. 